ye we summon, ye we call, and to souls we'll judge ye all. All is And witches poised to pinch your purity. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special pyre for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your speech. I want you to me to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! Well, that was a terrifying scene, but we got a chance to see firsthand, for the first time, what the witch hunters are doing with the mages that they found. Now that mage, that the woman at least, that they burned at the stake with that uh, Felicia something, Corey, I had to look her up, because otherwise than that, she's not a character in this game. And it turns out she was a character from The Witcher 2. Not a particularly important character, but one that that Geralt knew. So, I mean, I guess perhaps he was too late to try to do anything about it, but... Hey! Sod off! We're looting here! Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorcerers who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that? Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. Oh, I've a scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. This Menga. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerous bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the Temple Guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad.
You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. What's your point? I ask the questions, Witcher. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake is inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Okay, so this is Triss's house. And I'm guessing at some point, it seems as though at some point she was able to just sort of live here out in the open being what she is. But that day is clearly past. Just outside of her door, they just burnt two people at the stake. One was a mage, the other was a Doppler, a kind of shape-shifting person. Dopplers usually aren't particularly hostile, so yeah, I guess it's kind of messed up that they burnt the Doppler as well. But they don't seem to be too discriminant about the people that they burn. If you're not human, then you, you're you going to die. And if you're, uh, if you're a mage, if you're using magic, if you're something other than what they consider natural, then you're going to die also. After, well... It seems as though the bandits, these people, these scavengers, will roll through here and then take anything that they find after a mage has been killed. So I imagine wherever the hell Felicia lives, you got people ransacking her house now, looking for her shit. Because uh, there wouldn't be much of a... Wouldn't be anybody to put up a fight then, would there? Triss is a character from the previous two games, or so I've read. She's also apparently a character from the book series and the TV show, which I've started to watch. So, she's a person that you're expected to have some kind of a connection to. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! For me, however, I didn't when I first played this because The Witcher 3 was my first entry into this series. So I didn't know who I was dealing with here. So I was like, oh, you gotta go... Oh, there's a, there's a picture of her. Gotta go find Triss. So like, okay. Who's that again? Like, oh, you gotta go find Triss. So, okay, I'm here to find Triss. So I feel like maybe I missed out on a few things during playing through this game. Because I just really didn't have the context and the background necessary to really understand what was going on. So we're, we're following a pickpocket. Just gotta make sure you don't get too close so he doesn't see you or stop or whatever. I'm not a big fan of these kinds of things. I mean, it does break up the gameplay cycle a little bit, but it's it's not something that I want to be caught doing for too long a period of time. And repeat playthroughs, I definitely don't want to do it more than more than once. Holy moly, you're a scam. So, so be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? My mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die hunger. All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on! Be gone! Oh, 
Oh, man. This uh, king of beggars in the Putrid Grove seemed to have the people a little bit of terrified here. Now, there's a lot of things I imagine to be afraid of in this city. You have the witch hunters in one hand. You have Radovids, lunatics, the temple guards, and all that kind of stuff. Then you also have the... Well, there's a lot of gang violence and or mafia or whatever the hell you want to call it in this city. So I guess Geralt thinks the best way to find his way to the King of Beggars is to follow a pickpocket. I don't quite get the logic of that. Just because a person is a pickpocket doesn't mean they necessarily know where anybody is or where to find anybody. But I guess if he's got no better leads, and why the hell not? I definitely like how this city has a sort of cobbled together feel to it and look to it. Because in general, most cities aren't planned, or at least not effectively planned. Nobody sits down and at a piece of paper and says, okay, I'm going to draw out a city, and I'm going to go and have it be done in the most efficient way as possible. It, cities are usually slowly built over a long period of time, and the longer that time is, the more awkward it's going to end up being. Especially, like, well, it's not really as big of a problem in the United States because a lot of the cities are much more recent in terms of when they were at first established, and therefore they don't have, like, hundreds or thousands of years of of city like being slowly rebuilt that cities in say like Europe or China or Japan or somewhere might be so this I like the look of this it all looks like the a lot of the buildings look like they were constructed at different times by different people with different uh, construction methods and all that in mind like that one building right in the center frame looks different than the ones on either side of it. Attention to detail, though. That's what's key for this kind of thing. Okay, we gotta be getting pretty close. Yeah, that's it. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms. Been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. Might be a problem there. Then come back once you've solved it. Oh, my old friend there. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. Catch. You may enter. Oh. Right after you leave me your weapons, you'll be safe in me locker. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done with the king. The reason for the cut is because I actually screwed up and made the wrong decision, and then the game crashed and I had to reload it. <laughs> okay, inside of this slum that we have right here seems to be a sort of refuge for mages. Like, we got a sorceress there. We got some poor people living in this area, too. 
There's a guard at the door. This place, I guess, even though it seems to be like a terrible place to be, it's probably the safest thing for any mages. As unfortunate as that seems to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, steal their shit, Carol. Yeah, they're poor, but steal their shit. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher, I've got plans, big plans, far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City Council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now... I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to par. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Of course, I got them. Said I'd have them and give them back. So I'm giving them back. Here's your junk. Thanks. You watch out for yourself, miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. Not a city for you. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. 
Who might know more? Well, we finally found Triss. And, well, she seems to have got herself caught up in this power struggle. The King of Eggers wants more power. He wants to rat of it out. He wants the church of this eternal flame thing gone. And I guess beggars can't really be choosers when it comes to a person who's being persecuted the way she is. But, I don't know, that guy seems a little bit like he's trouble. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. 